All right, well, hello and greetings from the Optimist Club of Lynchburg. My name's Jennifer Luckadoo, and I am the president of the club. It is my honor to welcome you to today's public safety recognition program, where we will honor Lieutenant Rodney D. Carson. For those of you who may not be familiar with the club, the Optimist Club of Lynchburg is a community service organization dedicated to bringing out the best in children. In fact, we've been working with youth in the city of Lynchburg and the surrounding area since 1987. The purpose of the Optimist Club of Lynchburg is to develop optimism as a philosophy of life and to aid and encourage the youth of our community. We also um, promote engagement in the community through volunteer efforts and by recognizing positive role models and mentors to our youth. I do want to thank the Lynchburg Police Department for allowing us to be here today and to use this site, so we appreciate that very much. I also want to thank Chad Mooney and the partners at PLDR Law Firm for sponsoring today's program. And with that, I am going to turn it over to Matt Marsteller, who is the program chair, and he will tell you a little bit more about this specific program. So, Matt, thank you. welcome. Good morning. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone to the Lynchburg Police Department's portion of the Public Safety Recognition Program. I'm very honored to be standing here to recognize the accomplishments of one of Lynchburg's finest. I'd like to start by recognizing our other two committee members. I'm the, the program chair, uh, but we have two other committee members, Jim Ballingy and Patrick Prophet, who takes the nominations, we read through them, and then as a collective group, we select one individual to honor each year. So thank you to Jim and Patrick. I'd also, like Jennifer said, I'd like to recognize Petty Livingston, Dawson, and Richards for their sponsorship of this portion of the program. And a big thank you to Chad Mooney. The club certainly hopes to consider uh, partnering with PLDR for future events. As noted on your program, I know Jennifer handed some out. Um, the other two sponsors for the other two portions of this overall program were Wells Fargo Advisors and Campbell Insurance. A few months ago, the Optimist Club of Lynchburg's Board of Directors voted to expand our annual Respect for Law program and include both the Department of Emergency Services and the Fire Department to recognize more city staff members for their dedicated commitment and contributions to public safety. We've already done those two uh, portions of the overall program back in December, and we're here today to recognize and honor a tremendous police officer. In previous years, we, we've had a guest speaker to kind of offer some words of wisdom or someone who was associated or affiliated with kids and the criminal justice system, but we decided to forego that this year uh, under the circumstances. So at this time, I'd like to present the award. If I could get Jennifer and Lieutenant Carson, and Chief Zudema, Major Jameson to come forward, if you would, please. <clears throat> Over the last couple of months through Major Jameson, I requested nominations for this award. To be considered for the Lynchburg Optimist Club Police Officer of the Year Award, one or more of the following criteria must be met. Completion of a task or assignments that went above and beyond the normal call of duty in any one or combination of the fo following. Service, which served to enhance public safety, support community involvement to include volunteering at local organizations, crime prevention and community oriented policing or displaying exceptional courage, meaning that a law enforcement officer has by an act or acts clearly distinguished him or herself by bravery, valor or outstanding courage and has placed the safety and welfare of the community they serve above anything else. After soliciting nominations for this award, the, the committee members chose which police officer would receive this award and Lieutenant Rodney Carson was selected. At this time, I'll ask Captain Clemens to come forward and please read the nomination. I think you'll see very plainly how Lieutenant Carson met our award criteria. Absolutely. Well, I don't know that I'm going to read the whole thing, but I'll at least read part of it. How's that? Um, kind of like we said before, Lieutenant Carson um, has been a part of this department for over 32 years and dedicated his life to the service of the citizens of Lynchburg. But we want to talk about what he did this previous year in 2020. Um, he was actually reassigned uh, to a new unit that we created uh, where he oversaw traffic, the SROs, and the CAT team, community action team. And uh, he was very excited to get his feet on the ground and get running and get up with community programs and get out and meet and greet people and everything else, and then COVID hit. So that kind of put the pause on everything for the first half of the year. Uh, but as soon as a lot of the restrictions started letting go, 
uh, him and his group hit the ground running. And a lot of the things that they did during that time, they did what most people don't do in, in two years uh, for the most part. But they started pop-up cookouts, did several locations like at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Jubilee Center, Jefferson Park, Diamond Hill, just to name a few. Um, they coordinated innovative ideas to take lunch to members of the business community to build social capital. Like they would pick up peaches and go to different shops and things and sit down with the workers and have lunch with them and talk to them and talk about what's going on in their neighborhood and all those different things. So it was really good. Um, another thing that they did, they spent a lot of time working on the White Rock Cemetery. Um, a lot of community partners came in, but he's the leader of the group that coordinated all that. And they came in and cleaned up the cemetery and made a huge difference in that, in that neighborhood. And then also uh, helped with the No Boundaries Ministry to build a playground on a vacant lot on Tulip Street. So, and that's just to name a few of the things that was done this week, but um, that's why Lieutenant Carson is well deserving of this award and uh, proud of you. Thank you. Yes, sir. So at this time, I'd like to formally recognize the Optimist Club of Lynchburg's Police Officer of the Year, Lieutenant Rodney D. Carson. We've got a statue on behalf of the club for you to uh, display wherever you see fit. Thank you. A $50 gift card to the restaurant of your choice. Thank you. Thank you. And the very, very coveted Optimist coin that will be yours awesome. as well. Awesome. Round of applause. Thank you. few words. Take this mask off and social distance. Now I appreciate the uh, recognition, uh, but it, it's really, I, I, you know, it's really up to my my cat members and my cat team, my, my traffic unit and SROs. They do all the heavy lifting. I'm just in charge. Uh, we do everything as a team, and uh, I, I dedicate this award to them. But. I also want to thank God for giving me the ability to do my job on a daily basis as a police officer and my wonderful family as a support system. I've been here over 32 years and I enjoyed each and every day that I come to work and, and feel blessed. Uh, every day before I come to work, I pray a prayer that, you know, God will allow me to make a positive impact on at least one person a day. Uh, and I think he, he's done that. And, and uh, being with the, uh, the police department and the community action team, uh, Chief Zudeman and the administration, uh, they allowed us to go out and be creative and, and, and trusted us to go out in the community and build relationships after you know, all the events of May 31st and all the community unrest. Uh, you know, it, it was a tremendous honor to to entrust the CAT team to be creative and build these relationships. And and one quick story, you know, we we go out, we do a lot of cookouts, and we mingle. And you know, sometimes the guys, you know, they'll joke with us that we're the cookout cops. Uh, but one quick story is that uh, uh, you know we did a uh, a cookout event at the uh, community center at 17th and Monroe, and the next week we were. Uh, cleaning up of uh, the old post office uh, property. It's vacant at uh, uh, Campbell Avenue and, and uh, Langan Road on the corner. And, uh, you know, rather than bother all the city organizations and take a couple weeks to get them to do it, we decided to get our tools and do it ourselves. Well, while we were uh, cleaning up this property, uh, a young man came by, no shirt on a bicycle, and he just came and he kind of looked us over and and uh, he said to us, he said, uh, what are y'all doing? And we said, we're cleaning up this, this property. We want to make the city look better and trying to set an example for the community uh, to, follow, to, uh, to follow, to beautify their city. And he said, y'all the same cops that were at that cookout last week. And I said, yeah, yeah, we, we, we are. And he said, you know what? He said, y'all are cool cops. And where I come from, uh, I just moved here. The cops in the community that I lived in last time would have never done this. And that, that's just an example of, of doing something positive and you never know who's watching and uh, building social capital in the, in the uh, city of Lynchburg. And, and that was a positive and, and uh, you know, it, it made my group uh, and, and team proud. And, you know, after the events, like I said, after May 31st, uh, the command staff and Chief Zudema, they committed themselves to 
to making a difference in the community uh, through being transparent and, and, and getting back to the old style of police and where we go out in the neighborhoods and, and we build those relationships and, and it, it pays dividends. And, and uh, I just like to thank them for the opportunity and, and they don't get enough credit for, for uh, taking the heat uh, you know, th during these hard times. And, and uh, like I said, I'm blessed. I won this award in 1992 and 29 years later, here I am again. And uh, usually, you know, you get in a job and, and you get close to retirement and your career is on the decline. But this is just confirmation that, you know, maybe I still have a little bit to offer. And I just want to thank each and every one of you. Anything you'd like to say? Well, Rodney, uh, congratulations on behalf of the men and women of Lynchburg Police Department. You make us very proud, not just because you got this award, but each and every day. And, uh, you know, Rodney's, uh, a lot of you know, had some uh, personal challenges over the last year uh, himself and with some family members, and uh, he's not let that slow him down one bit. Uh, he's kept just plugging away, and uh, he spent uh, the overwhelming majority of his career in this building over here uh, in CID in a variety of roles. Um, and so when he kind of changed roles up a little bit ago, I, I don't know that I've ever seen somebody with uh, his much experience be that excited about a new assignment. And uh, he took it under his wing and just kept on rolling, has been going ever since. And uh, um, I know he downplays his role in all this, but don't let him fool you. Uh, his uh, leadership uh, of the men and women that he leads is why they do all the great things they do. Um, you can get a great group of, group of people together, but without a strong leader like Rodney, sometimes those things don't come together. Um, so he's done an exceptional job with that. Uh, he's mentored hundreds of people over his career, uh, myself included, uh, and uh, done a great job of uh, helping us, uh, keeping us from stepping in things we shouldn't step in and uh, making sure we're going down the right path. So uh, I just really appreciate all you do each and every day. I hope you don't think at 32 uh, you need to stop working. Uh, I hope you stay here at least as long as I do. And uh, you've been a great friend and a great mentor to me and just a great uh, mentor and leader to, to all the folks that have come through the doors here over the years. So congratulations, certainly uh, well-deserved and uh, appreciate all you do for us. Thank you. Thank you. I know you probably couldn't see it while you were talking, but a couple smiling faces and chuckles and giggles, which you, you're, you've never been a, a, a one to have a shortage of that when you're around. So yeah. thank you. Uh, I'll thank certainly the command staff, Chief Zudema, Major Jameson, Major Edwards, uh, Captain Meehan, Captain Clements for, for coming out today. Chad Mooney and PLDR again, thank you very much for the sponsorship and, and making this happen for Lieutenant Carson. And I'll turn it back over to Jennifer. I do. Okay. Um, well, at this point, we'll go ahead and close the ceremony. And what I'd like to uh, ask is that if you would please join in reciting the Optimus Creed with me. It's on the back of your program. <laughs> Promise yourself to be, to be so strong, strong that, that nothing, nothing can disturb your peace of mind, mind. to you talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet, to make all your friends feel that there is something in them, to look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true, to think only the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best, to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own, to forget, to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future, to wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile, to give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others, to be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. Thank you again, everyone, for joining us, and congratulations again, Lieutenant Thank Garson. You. <laughs>